Roger Nielsen had a major impact on hockey. Widely known as Captain Video for innovating the use of videotape to study not only opponents, but his own team as well. His knowledge of the game was almost unlimited, as he worked late nights watching video and reading the ins and outs of the rule book, as he was well known for finding loopholes. His coaching career began with the Peterborough Peets, and it's quite clear of the impact he has left on this town. Well, uh, starting a, a, you know, as a young uh, boy working at his hockey school, and, and uh, one of the great things for me was being around Roger and, and seeing the commitment he made to the hockey school and how he took everything seriously and there was no uh, uh, corners cut. He took a lot of pride in what he did, uh, but he was also very involved with the staff. He, he knew the staff. He developed relationships with the staff. and. So I got to, to spend a lot of time with him and uh, it, got, it used to boggle my mind uh, all the time. I'd be around him and, and I could, you know, even though we were good friends, I always looked at him and I'd, I'd sit there listening to him, thinking to myself that I'm in the presence probably of one of the smartest hockey men of all time. The fact that, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to work with him in New York for, for a couple seasons and, um, you know, his work ethic, uh, there was no one in hockey that worked harder than Roger. He was at the rink at 5.30, quarter to 6 in the morning, and, uh, you know, they practice in the morning. He might have a nap uh, for 45 minutes in the afternoon, and he'd stay at the rink till 11 o'clock at night, uh, whether it was watching video uh, of his team or other teams, um, scouring the stats, just looking for any, anything that, uh, you know, could help his team the, the next night. So. Uh, I think uh, what separated Roger from a lot of people is his, uh, his passion and his work ethic. Well, Roger was so knowledgeable of the game, and I think that's when you're around someone like that long enough, it, it wears off on you, and that's probably one reason why I was a student of the game. Uh, I played with Roger on, I think, four different teams, and he was a big, uh, big proponent of uh, video. and. You know, whether you're in the video or not, you have to watch and you have to learn and you see things and, and you learn from it. And I think, uh, you know, in my playing days when I, you know, I said I was a student of the game, you know, I really was. And I think, you know, Roger taught me that and, and just seeing where, how his relationship with other players was, I think that's, you know, one reason why I did get into coaching, uh, you know, when I, when I did stop playing. Well, in 1973, uh, the summer, I came down here to holiday uh, at Roger Nielsen's cottage. We'd been friends since I was 10 years old. He started coaching me in baseball, and at that time he mentioned to me that he was going to go full-time, and that he was kind of looking for a full-time trainer and wondered if I'd be interested. So uh, I've always looked at people now and, and uh, you know, try to decide why are they in the business. Is it because they love the game or is it because of ego? And Roger was successful because he had a passion for the game. And, and uh, you know, I, I hope that that's why I'm in the game because certainly uh, you know, it doesn't do a whole lot for your ego, but uh, I guess it could if you let it. But Roger, you, you know, just the amount of information that I learned from spending time around him on hockey has been tremendous, and it doesn't change. I mean, one thing I learned from Roger, too, is that the game's not complicated. I think when I was a kid, I thought, you know, defensive zone play or a lot of these big terms for hockey tended to mean it was complicated, but Roger could simplify the game so quickly, and that's why he was such a great coach. He understood the game, he studied the game, and, and uh, so, you know, I, I hope that a lot of those things that, that I learned from Roger have helped me. I'm sure they have because uh, being around him, I knew that hockey was something that I wanted to be involved in, not only because of the sport, but because you get to influence kids, you get to develop relationships with kids as they grow older. And I saw that Roger had all that and, and really treasured those relationships. And uh, that's something that's really important to me too. If you ask anyone in the area what kind of man that Roger Nielsen was, the response is always the same a person with a tremendous sense of humor and a great friend to all that knew him. It's quite clear that all those that knew Roger felt very privileged to have had the honor of being around him. Well, Roger valued uh, relationships and I don't know how many Christmas cards he would send out every year, but you know, I was one of the people every year that uh, you'd get a present in the mail from him every year with a Christmas card. Uh, he'd come home maybe for a day at Christmas because he loved his, his home out on the lake and. He'd do everything he could just to get home for a day, and then he would spend uh, most of the day phoning people and on Christmas Day just to say Merry Christmas. And, uh, you know, just little things like that uh, from a great man. As I said, it, 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 it was a tremendous influence on me and, and a lot of people locally here and probably around the world. So, uh, as I said, I, I thank my lucky stars every day that I was, you know, lucky enough to, to spend time around Roger, to learn from Roger, and uh, to be one of, one of his many friends. 
Roger was a, a good friend of uh, our families, and when my father passed away, Roger kind of stepped into that uh, father figure role for me, and, and uh, you know, became a very uh, important piece of uh, part of my life. And uh, you know, he was my best man at my wedding, and uh, you know, he's, uh, he's someone that uh, you know we miss uh, dearly. And uh, you know, he was best friends to so many people, and uh, you know, I, I'm not the only one that's missing him. Right? There's so many people uh, around hockey and, and just around the world that uh, the lives that he affected, and uh, you know, he was uh, he was a special man and uh, very unique. And uh, you know, like I said, he, he wasn't just a big part of my life; he was a big part of so many people's lives, and uh, you know, he's uh, he's uh, sorely missed.